Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jude from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought we would do a little bit of recycle and reuse and go from this to this. So these are lovely. Now all you want to do is get, um, which we all have, um, is a toilet roll tube like this, just the cardboard inner tubes, or you can have it from kitchen paper as well. Um, and you want to make them flat, so just cut them down like this and flatten them out. Now the best way to do this, which is what I did, is I've obviously, I wiped them over with some antibacterial, um, so they're just a little bit damp on either side, or you can spritz them with some antibacterial to get all the germs off. And while they're still sort of wet, put them in between a couple of books, um, or something really heavy and flatten them out and as they dry they go really flat which is perfect so that's what you want and what we're going to make we're going to make a couple of these look well I'm going to show you how to make one today I'm going to show you how to make this one so this is just really um, one which is taller and this is just on the side so they're really really lovely so I'm going to show you here like this well I've got a little um, dingly dangly tag there um, and as you open it up this is just loose so we've I haven't attached that the only way I've attached that is with some seam binding like that so it's nice and floppy um, and then it opens up with a little bit of concertina paper there and you've got this lovely little pocket to keep all your little bits of ephemera in and I think they are really nice and a great way to use up the tubes so it's perfect so I think they are really really lovely and this one here I've just got a little bit of string on this one and they just open up like that which is perfect and I've got a little bit of sort of calico on here for the pocket um, and another little dingly dangly there with the tags so they're really quite simple to make so I shall show you how to do it I'm going to pop those to the side now you want to have three pieces of um, or three tubes, toilet roll tubes. I've also got these as well, which I've collected. I think these are off sort of like um, my aluminium foil because um, they're really quite thick. So I need to find out what to make with those as well. So we want three of these and then you want a piece of your, whatever paper you want to use, piece of digital paper, wrapping paper, anything you like. This is my the pink butterfly collection paper which I thought I would use this one um, I'll pop the link to these papers that I've used on here as well because these are really really pretty so I'll pop a link to those so you want three of these let me just pop that to, to the side now we want one whole piece okay so that's for the back and then we want a piece for the front so this will be just under five and a half inches by three inches so the same here so the the um height of the tubes is sort of like three and three quarter inches um, and again these are just under five and a half inches so it depends on what size you want to do it but you can't you can make them smaller but you can't really make them any bigger than that so that's going to go on like that so that's your front pocket and then we just want a top flap so I'm going to actually cut this one in half so again this is like three and three quarters so I will do it sort of sort of just under two inches like that make sure it's nice and level make sure we are the right size let me just even it up a bit just cut this little bit off here perfect now what I've done with the other ones, I've just got a little um, template here and this is just one of my punches that I punched down which I was using for something else, I can't remember now but just get anything, even if it's sort of like your bottom of your glue like that, just to make a little round corner, just to round the corners off just for the, um, the envelope flap bit so just go around it like that and again on this corner just round it off you can use a little corner punch if you like but I just wanted them just a little bit rounder than a corner punch so just round them off like that perfect 
So now what we need to do, we need to cover them up with some of this paper. And then on the inside, I'm using some um, book paper. So I shall do the inside first. So we want this as it lifts up, we want it to be um, facing up. So we need to put it this way, don't we? So all I'm going to do, I'm going to just add some glue, just like this. And stick that this way, I think, isn't it? If I can get that right, probably not. So when it's, no it's not, it is this way. So when we lift it up, yes. So it's not upside down, not that it really matters. But stick that on like that, we need to cut this out can't think of the top from the bottom today. So let's just round this off. Just like that. Cut it all out. Like that. So when we lift it up, see look, I still have it upside down. Pause the right way, the other way. Never mind. Now we want to do the inside of the um, cover as well, so we will just stick this on. This doesn't really matter which way. Just glue it down. I'm going to be sewing this, but again, you don't have to sew it if you don't want to. So I'm just going to stick this on and then cut that one out. I'm going to stick this one on as well and cut it out. Just like that. it down so there nice and stuck down and then just cut them out okay so that's the inside done so we've got that like this so that will be the inside and that will be the inside of that. Not that you really see it, but when you open it up, you'll just be able to see it just a little bit like that. And that is the top, which I stuck on upside down. But never mind. And then you want to cover the back with these. So the other side, let's have the big pink butterfly on the front. Like that. nice lot of glue make sure I'm up the right way that's correct just like that stick that down so this only takes one not even one sheet of your digital papers which is good but again, you can use any papers you like. Now I'm going to do the back of this one, which I'm going to stick on like that. Make sure we're up the right way. Nice bit of sticky um, glue stick. to do the top piece so let's try and get this piece right that's the inside that's the inside it goes down like that so let's get this let's just have the flowers on there like that okay if you've got pattern paper it doesn't really matter which way round you do it let's just stick this on There we go. Perfect. Pop those bits to the side. So now we have, we put this piece down, so that's the back. Okay, so we pop that down. Oops. 
that goes on the front there and then that is the little flap like that so that opens up like that now for the little sort of concertina pieces on the side I did this beforehand so we didn't have to wait for me to do it so what you want to do you have a piece which is at two and a half inches okay so and each side you just score down a quarter of an inch okay and then you do it half an inch in between so you do a quarter of an inch half an inch half an inch half an inch half an inch and a quarter of an inch so you have um, one and uh, two and a half inches on there okay I've done them quite big because I'm going to cut them down and they're what goes in the middle to make your um, little concertina opening so what I'm going to do I'm just going to measure them like that and then just cut this piece off just like that and the same with this one just there they are both the same length just like that and chop it off okay so we've got these two pieces like that so then what we need to do let me just cut this little bit off here what I'm going to do with this piece I'm going to ink it if I can find what I did with my ink just quickly go around I'm just going to do it with a little bit of the um, walnut stain on here okay so that's all inked up nicely so it goes like that and then that piece goes on top and then these go in between so what I'm going to do I'm, I'm going to um, sew these but I'm going to stick them down first okay so I'm going to stick with a little bit of this Stamperia um, it's extra strong glue which is really good which is sort of a alternative I'm using to the um, three in one so I'm just going to stick this on here just on the edge just like that just make sure we are level here so we stick that one side and we have this one the other side just a little bit and I'm going to stick this on this edge just like that now I'm going to go to the sewing machine okay and I'm going to sew around the outside like this Okay, and then I will be back and then we will stick this piece on okay so that's sewn on nicely so you've got two little concertina pieces here coming out now what we need to do now is just stick this piece just on one side just like that and like that so maybe I'll do this side first so that just sticks on there like that now if you're not going to sew it make sure you do have a strong glue to stick it down okay because it doesn't have to be sewn at all I'm just going to stick that on up to there just like that now I'm going to sew around this side this one I can't stick this one on because obviously I can't sew it because I can't get in there um, but I can I will stick that on once I've got the sewing around it um, so it looks like it's been sewn on okay so I'm just going to quickly sew around this okay so that piece has been sewn on now just to keep that in place so that sits like that so that's your little pocket that we've got there which is perfect so I'm going to leave that there, I'll stick that down in a minute, I have to put that on so that's why I'm not sticking that down yet, the little um, button on there. So what we're going to do now, I have a piece of this which is just calico um, but you can use any pieces of ribbon or anything like that because on this one I use the seam binding to put it on but I thought I would use a little bit of this fabric so I'm just going to 
pop this on like this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew this piece on first because I want to sew around here as well. So let's just stick that on. I'm going to stick it on just with a little bit of glue stick because it only needs sort of holding on to sew it. So make sure it's sort of level. Cut that off there. So I'm going to make sure this is sewn on and go around these pieces around here as well. Okay, so that's the little flap which I've sewn on there. Let's get rid of those bits. So now this needs to be stuck onto there just like that and let's pop a little bit of glue on here turn it back over just, just leave a tiny sort of like little gap in between here just so when this flaps over it's got a little bit of movement and it's not too sort of like close together here so I'm just going to quickly go and sew down here as well. Okay, so there we go. That's a perfect. So this just flaps over there. And then that's your little flap on the top. So, oopsie daisy, let's pop that in there like that. And then that flaps over. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, this folds down. We need to figure out where we are going to put the little buttons. Now I've covered again a piece of the tubing with some paper and I'm going to cut it out. The little cutter, this is my new little punch. It is EK um, and it's a three quarters of an inch little round punch. So I'm just going to punch a couple of little um, circles out just to use as the little closure. I like these ones because they um, close up and they're really thin. So I'm pleased I got that one. Like this. Just go around the edge a little bit. Like that. And this one. Just like that. Now I want two little brads. Now I've got some these little ones in here. So let's just take a couple of the little white ones will do. Now I need to pop that down there. Let's make sure these are level. Might need trimming just a tiny bit. Stick this on. Now one's going to have to go sort of there and sort of there so I've got my little tool here I'm just going to put a little mark in there just so we know where to poke the hole one in there and then this one here oops we pop the little brad through there, through that hole, and then open it up. Squish it down. There we go. And then we want to do this one up here. Pop that through there. Oops. Pop it through. And then open this up. Oops, no, I don't want to do I want to open this back up because I need to put the little piece of a ribbon or something through there. Now I have got some white seam binding. I have a little bit of ribbon here which I think might fit. Might look quite nice. Now I'm going to just double that over and pop the little brad through the lace and that will hold it so I'm going to pop it through there and then close this up okay and that's what we've got the closure right now I need to stick this down so it stops flapping about 
just pop that little bit of glue on there just on that little quarter of an inch fold and then we'll pop that so it's level let's do it like this I think that will be easier stick that down so you've got to make sure this is stuck down properly because it's not going to be sewn okay just like that now that's not very level at the bottom so I might just trim that off just a little bit just so it looks level that's a little bit better so that's stuck down now I'm going to, you can glue the bottom together, but I'm going to stitch it. So I'm just going to go on the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew down through this line again. Okay. Okay, perfect. There we go. So I've just sewn it across there. So when this opens out like that, you've got your little pocket. Well, you've got quite a big pocket like that, really. That folds over. You've got your piece of ribbon, which will just go underneath the little circle don't need that whole length so we'll just cut a little piece off like that and I think that looks really really lovely and then what can we do let's pop a little tag on there these are all the little bits of recycled paper that I had that I made um, into little tags if you remember so let's just get a couple of sort of little ones on here just like that you want one little bit bigger than the other one just to hang down Let's see if I've got a longer one got lots in here no they do let's get a little bulb pin pop that through there pop that through there and then that can just clip onto your little bit of fabric or whatever you've popped on there I think they are lovely so that looks really nice so let's stick something on there so it blends in a little bit let's have a little bit of this lovely ribbon not ribbon it is um, velvet when well, it is velvet ribbon just a little, a little faux bow that we make on there cut it like that side just like that and that can just sit on there a little bit of um, cheesecloth can't do a project without cheesecloth can we so let's just stick that on oops for daisy little bit of glue on there stick the cheesecloth on little blob of glue and we will pop that on there so there we go perfect and that looks really really nice I think they are so so pretty and a great way to use up um, some recycling stuff so there we go that's the inside so you can pop all sorts of things in there um, like this one here so I take these little bits out like this this is our lovely little birdcage tags that we made that can slip in that's another little tag that I made so you can probably bit lots of little bits of ephemera in here and these are great again if you wanted to send off a little gift for somebody a little bit of birthday money or anything like that and they are gorgeous oops my little flower came off see that's not dry going too quickly and not letting things dry so there we go guys I think they are lovely and it's, it really is a great use um, to recycle things so there we are perfect and this is done exactly the same way except for I've done it long ways just like that so there we go all right guys thank you so much for joining me um please stay safe and um, please give this a go and i will see you all very soon all right take care bye bye